Okay guys, we talk about what it takes and we get a lot of cliche answers to win a world title, to win an Olympic title. Terrell, what do you think it really takes? And I asked you guys this, like, what's it gonna take for you to medal? What's it take to win, actually win a world title or win an Olympic gold medal or, or, or win a medal? What does it really take? Like you just, you just cited the Bill Zadick example. Yeah. Talk, talk to me about the Bill Zadick thing. Bill Zadick won the Worlds in 2006 and in 2007 he went as a training partner and you know, his, his interview, he was asked that question, and obviously... Because Schwab beat him off the team. Yeah, and so so he had knee surgery, he came back, he was kind of, you know, just came back pretty late. So he uh, he didn't perform that well, coming off a world championship run. And they asked him, you, you were here last year, what what does it take to win this tournament? And, you know, he went through the, the, the regular stuff, but then the, the one that really stuck with me was the humility behind this statement. He said, it, it really things really have to go your way. They, they have to go your way because it's such a difficult tournament and, and it's the world. This is the world. You wake up and if you have, if you mess up, you could be out, you know? So definitely if you mess Gomez, up, you can't get gold. Gomez was sick at the Olympics last year. He didn't plan for that, you know? Yeah, so, so I mean, you look at, and then, and then on the flip side, you look at, I mean, the, 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 the Jake Varner bracket, when, when he, Gokshalitze is really good. And, I mean, he, Jake, you don't know what's gonna happen. Jake, that third period, you could see, after Gokshalitze lost that clinch in the second, you could see the life drain from him. Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go third. And it was like, oh, I, I could have called it. I was like, that's it, he just he just won. So, whatever it is, it can be, it can be as, you know, as, as minute of a detail as, as the wrong thought to enter your head. So that's why we train so much year round, but it really does have to go your way. Jordan Burroughs in the semifinals was crouched on the edge, on his knees, not even in an athletic position, stopped after a scramble, and Sargush was 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 on the inside. And he recognized the position two seconds too late, and Burroughs was already off the edge. If he sticks his leg out a foot, he touches the out of bounds, there's 10 seconds left in the period, Jordan Burroughs is an Olympic bronze medalist. I mean, that's a foot. If he would have just stuck his foot out instinctively to gain his balance, but he swiffers him. So obviously we can account that to Jordan Burroughs, an amazing athlete, but not necessarily that happens 10 out of 10 times every time. So it's just little things. There's always, there's always something. There's always something that this, it has to go your people way. Have, people have to understand there's grit involved and there's bloodiness and that doesn't necessarily mean blood is showing. It's like John Smith did, had, did a, had a great speech a couple years ago at the Worlds and, and it's just like there's a level of fight that you need. That I mean, there's a lot of other really good wrestlers that train all year round trying to win the match too. It's, it's not, people that lose, are, it's not just because they messed up necessarily. It's not just because um, the other guy's uh, better necessarily. Um, it, it's hard, man. 